Today I'm gonna do a little bit of bee work. I'm gonna try to take a swarm trap and put it in a top bar hive for the first time ever. I have this new top bar hive here and I've got this swarm trap. And I'd like to transfer all these bees into this top bar hive, which I've never done before. Now, I've got standard size combs, or sorry, standard size frames uh, for a Langstroth hive. Those will need to be trimmed down to make it into here. So I'm gonna try to do that today and show you guys the process. So I normally always be keep with gloves. I'm gonna wear gloves today, but I don't have sleeves on. Um, I'm just gonna see how it goes. I got this new veil. These bees are pretty well behaved, so I'm just gonna try it out and see how it is. Mother. Okay, I was just kidding about the whole no sleeves thing. As soon as I stopped that video, I got stung on the arm, so not about that. I went and got my suit. The plan for today is basically to get these bees put into this top bar hive. It's not exactly gonna be the easiest task because I have to trim the size of the frames that are in this box. Um, but I'm gonna do what I can to show you all the process of it. Uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So the top bar hive is kind of this horizontal trough hive. You can expand the hive by moving this board. You start them in one side and you gradually move this further away making it to where the bees expand all the way to one end of it. Um, it's a horizontal fashion as opposed to a vertical type of hive. This style of hive utilizes natural combs. So these combs that are gonna be drawn down by the bees are gonna come down hanging from this bar, which sets across the top of here. So when you look in the hive, you'll have your frame, or sorry, you'll have your combs that are gonna be kind of a curved shape, the shape of this box and it's a lot more of a natural type of hive. Now what I'm gonna do is gonna involve a saw. So it's really gonna piss the bees off. I need to find the queen, put her in a queen cage, and then I need to shake all the bees off before I do any cutting. All right, so the goal here is I'm basically gonna trim this frame down about where my fingers are. I'm gonna make it the shape to be able to fit in that gray box there. Uh, but I need to find the queen first to get her into a cage. And this is a natural feral hive and these, these bees are a bit smaller so finding her can be a little bit more of a challenge because she's a little bit smaller like the rest of the bees. I usually am pretty quick at finding her. I don't think that she's on this frame at all. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead basically and take these bees. I'm gonna shake them into the new top bar hive just to get them off of here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bandsaw that I have and chop the frame here and here uh, and basically make it to where I can set this down in this box um, so here we go with shaking the bees. One last little quick look for the queen. All right, so here's what I'm planning on doing is cutting here and here. Let's go for it. Now, I need to grab this and cut it about here. So now I have this little makeshift top bar. I hope that I've been on video. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna set this in the box. So this allows them to start their new hive here. Ah, okay. I finally found her. She's very, very, very small. Kinda see her walk in there. See if I can get it to focus. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to put her in a cage. All right, so I have the queen in here. So for a second, I'm gonna set this down back in this box just so I can make sure that I have her. Yep, all right. I've got her here in this cage. Tell she's a bit of the bigger one. I'm gonna set the whole cage down into the top bar hive. I need to get all these bees off of here so I can cut this uh, frame. I got most of the bees off. Got myself 
got myself this little uh, top bar comb here and just need to set this down in there. Now I'm gonna probably have to trim some of these edges to make it be able to fit. All right, so when I go down into the box, it's already basically touching. So I need to cut off a good bit of this. Do something like this here. And unfortunately I've got some honey that I will just let them basically clean up. Oh, look at that. Nice, nice looking honey. So I'll set that there for them. Now I've got more of an edge to dangle this from. Spin it around. We're gonna do the same thing over here. There we go, look at that. I might eat that later. Actually, I probably will. I'm going to set that over here. So, now we have what looks like a pretty good looking top bar. I'm going to see what happens here when I try to put it in the box. Nope. Alright, let's try that. Perfect. Let's take a look here. What I've done, sorry for the shadows, but what I've done is I've achieved cutting a Langstroth frame down into a top bar shape. Um, eventually, once these bees start to, oops, once they start to build on these top bars themselves, I likely will just maybe, depending on how well that fits in there, I might try to eliminate those bars. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna try to get them to, to build their own combs. I'm going to put some sugar water on the other side of the follower board so they can go over there and get some extra feed or liquid or whatever to make combs and this will be pretty neat now i basically have to get the bees from the swarm trap into here or at least the bulk of the bees because their queen is in this new top bar uh she's going to end up you know uh, giving off her scent to where the other bees can find her so i need to get the bulk of the bees in there so they start going to this box I've got a big uh, frame of bees right here. This has brood on it, and I'm not going to cut this frame. I'm probably just going to put this in another hive, but I will shake these bees into this box. All right, so what I need to start doing is I need to start covering up the top of their box because this is ba these are basically their lid. Um, and as I close them in, they'll start to go inside because the queen is in there. She's still down in here in her cage. Um, I think I'll leave it one bar wide open right now so they could go down in there because it seems like they're all trying to go in because they smell the queen. They're all dropping down into the box. So now, pretty much they're all gonna start going inside. Uh, get a little closer angle here. They're kind of just doing their thing, making their way in. So I'm gonna let them continue doing this over here. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that frame that I sat down over there that is good brood. I'm just gonna stick it in one of these hives that's not doing as well. I'm gonna open up this pink one because it is not doing as well, and I don't know if it's gonna save it or if I'm just gonna waste the brood, but I'm gonna take a look and see. Oh, nope, this hive is done. This hive was not doing that good and was a little bit weak. It seems that they've all left except for just a few, and I've got wax moths in here already, so that's not a good sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this hive. This is all part of treatment for your beekeeping folks. You don't try to save a hive like this, like there's just no point. You're gonna shake these bees off, either put them in another box, you know, whatever it is, they're, they're done. You combine them and you move on. There's really no point in doing anything else. So here's kind of a cool, a cool comb. I'm gonna go stick this into another box because uh, I don't want this to go to waste either. Look at that. This was a good frame not that long ago, and they've fully just let it go. Uh, you know, they didn't have enough bees to defend it, basically. And 
No, I don't see her. This is another good comb. Oh, another good comb. Well, they're not going in here. Let's try another one. Let's see how this one's looking. This one was also not doing fabulous. But, oh, it actually is doing okay. This hive does have some brood, which is somewhat of a good sign. Real quick, so I'm putting this frame in here. This is the frame that came out of that other box. Uh, there she is. All right, Queen is right there. She looks pretty good, there she is. She's looking pretty healthy. All right, so we're good with that. I'm gonna go ahead and put her back in here and try to put as many of these uh, random combs that I have, like right there, in this box so they have, for one, more of a chance to lay, and for, for the second part, I won't lose those combs to wax moths. So this box is basically full of combs at this point. It's got some new brood combs in it. And now I can even use these on another one. All right, well, that's it for that. So that's good. We got to combine one brood frame, make use of it in here. We got to make use of some of our, uh, our uh, extra combs. And now we just need to dissolve this box down, get rid of it spread its resources elsewhere. So coming back over to our new top bar hive, it seems the bees have kind of calmed down and all gone inside. Oh yeah. They are already dangling from here and they've already gone back to their combs. I'm gonna go ahead and close this off. All right, well, now I can put the actual lid on. There we go. They're not really returning to their old spot, which was just a few feet to the right. They're not like flying around like crazy. They're kind of actually already over here, which is good. Now I'm gonna grab this honey that I took off a minute ago and take a bite of it. Now this is not capped yet, but it's some good looking nectar. It really does not get any better than that. Fresh honey from the comb. Right out of Texas. It's so rich. Man, that's some good, good, delicious Texas wildflower honey. It was still really liquidy though, because it's not capped. And then you just spit the wax out and, and now you've just had a little energy shot basically. So I've come back out here basically to give the top bar bees some sugar water so they can start making some new combs because it's uh, getting towards the end of August here. There's not really a good flow going on right now. So you can see these first two frames are the ones that I cut and put in here. And now I basically have added these, uh, well, I added the follower board to make it quite the small hive. The follower board has a hole in it so the bees can come over here and get sugar water. So the hive is only in that right now. 
as they grow this way, I'll basically scoot that further out. And then pretty soon this hive will be, you know, quite filled up basically with these. So now all I have to do is basically take the rest of these top bars and start covering up the last of this. And then I can put the whole lid on the top. But uh, check it out. Lots of bees, lots of bees. So hopefully they will start making some new combs here, even though it's not really the flow. I hope that they discover the sugar water and uh, drink it up quickly so I can come and refill it for them. Really like to get them built up before winter happens. So stay tuned. I would like to start doing more top bar beekeeping. Um, I really like natural beekeeping. So top bars are kind of right up my alley. Just got to get some uh, designs figured out and built, figure out what works best for me and go from there. Thanks for watching Brown's Bee Farm. And until next time, feel free to subscribe if you want to see some more videos.